there's a group, whole group of people don't particularly like the idea of inflation, and there's a and they would and I've worked on both 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 of these um, sides of, of the argument and. And, and one of the reasons is the question of, you know, how fine-tuned do you have to be in order to get inflation in the, very f in the early universe? And there is a big question about this, uh, using this argument over this initial patch, for example. Why should it have been uniform at this epoch where we expect quantum fluctuations to be so big that it could spoil it all for you? And so there is a, there is a question about the fine-tuned aspects of these inflationary models and, and, and that's one way you, you argue about how, how, how likely it is that inflation actually occurred and that's, a, that's still a, a debate going on as to that and there are different models and you know, there's, there are models called the cyclic universe right where the universe undergoes a series of expansions and collapses and each, each time it collapses and bounces back these are usually brains that are bouncing uh, out of string theory are bouncing back out you'd call that your big bang but there are issues there as well concerning how you actually deal with the, 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 the bounce itself um, all of these models where you end up dealing with regions of high curvature where singularities can form you always ending up because the mathematics usually is breaking down on you a degree of speculation is required to, to actually fully try and map from one region to another. Well, not speculation, but, but, but you need to acknowledge that, that we may not have full control of the mathematics and, and that we need to try and understand that better. And so there's a whole group of people would say inflation is, is on really firm footing. I'm not quite there because I see inflation as this wonderful paradigm that works really well, the, the idea works really well. But where did this infoton field come from? Where did this scale of field come from? It's got to, from, from some fundamental theory and there you, we begin to struggle actually if you try to and that's where I've sort of been doing the bulk of my work if you try and incorporate inflation in the world of particle physics and in the, or in string theory it's actually not that easy it's quite difficult to get a, a, a scale of field which does everything you want it to do in terms of the cosmic microwave background and yet also fits very nicely into the dynamics of the universe from the world of string theory. 